Hello everyone. Uh, we have done some uh, the exercise uh, on this uh, pizza ontology. Before we move into uh, the more uh, exercise in the guide, uh, I want to use this uh, video uh, to share uh, with you some of my understanding about uh, the ontology model file structure. Uh, so we save our uh, model file uh, in this RDF. Uh, resource description framework uh, uh, this uh, extension uh, if you uh, watch my uh, channel uh, you, you may find another similar uh, the video I did for Archi uh, which is our Archimate modeling tool uh, I also uh, opened the file uh, and explain the file structure uh, the formats uh, so let's do our uh, the same thing for this RDF file uh, so the thing is uh, easier is for you is uh, besides this uh, uh, the primary model file uh, I have uh, saved uh, the numbers of this uh, snapshot file uh, until now we did uh, six exercise so uh, there's a uh, six uh, different files uh, here uh, so we can uh, try to uh, understand uh, the, what was inside on this file and what's the linkage to uh, the over uh, the front end model uh, within the uh, the prodigy. Uh, before we go to the file itself, uh, I want you to uh, come to this uh, uh, the formal website uh, w3.org is a www uh, the uh, the uh, this uh, website and they have our RDF uh, the section uh, is a resource description framework. Uh, so you can uh, read the, uh, the complete RDF uh, specification and the information and what's the reference and also some uh, toolings uh, for the RDF. Uh, one uh, the interesting uh, the, uh, link I'm putting here is uh, now it's a 1.1 uh, specification. So you can uh, read from here uh, if you click this uh, suit. Uh, then you will get our uh, list of the standards and drafts uh, coding for RDF. Uh, so Sparkle we, we will learn later. Uh, but here uh, is one is RDF 1.2 uh, XML syntax. Uh, this file I recommend is uh, if you got time you can uh, have some quick read. Then you you can have some view is. Uh, RDF uh, is actually is, uh, coming from our XML uh, the syntax. Uh, so if you uh, go with those, is uh, you you can see here is a certain the uh, format. Uh, if you're familiar with XML, uh, then you may be uh, quite easier to learn the uh, XML uh, the RDF uh, formats. Similarly, is uh, R key uh, the uh, the model file. This extension Archimate uh, is also uh, the XML based. So XML is uh, primary the, uh, the source for the those uh, syntax. Uh, so uh, let's uh, move on to have a look on what we uh, have made in the file. Uh, so this, uh, if you open the uh, the repository uh, down, uh, through this uh, IDE. Uh, come to uh, this uh, snapshot. Let's uh, starting from this uh, uh, number one. So uh, you remember is uh, what we did on this uh, number one. So let's make this uh, smaller and uh, look your model. Uh, so read from the XML uh, the syntax. You will see here that's the starting is uh, XML version. So uh, that is the default uh, uh, line. And there's a uh, numbers of the RDF, uh, the kind of the namespace, uh, and also some base, some XML uh, namespace for all for RDF for XML, XSD, RDFS. Uh, so if you learn the uh, the ontology concept, you may uh, get some ideas uh, on all of those. So what's that uh, the means? But in short, all of them are just uh, some prefix. Uh, if you later learn the Sparkle, uh, we can uh, make this abbreviation uh, to uh, those uh, the prefix uh, to do the query uh, within the ontology. Uh, 
uh, but the in uh, the important thing is the last line. Uh, when we did this, uh, our uh, model file save, uh, we change our name from the default. Uh, you remember uh, on that video is uh, the default one is the May. We I changed to uh, the June, and then is I changed this uh, uh, the IRI with the name. So uh, here is the namespace is changed, but all of them is uh, are in this uh, tag RDF. Uh, so on this uh, zero 01, I just uh, save uh, our new file. Uh, the, then this, uh, we move to zero 02, we change some settings uh, on the Prodigy. So that is not change uh, anything in the uh, this uh, model file. So nothing uh, the in, uh, uh, this uh, uh, the changed or added. Uh, on the model, uh, the exercise three, uh, we add our uh, the here. So on this uh, active uh, ontology, we add our RDF as a comments. So that is uh, part of the property within your all ontology. So within the active ontology, so we add one line. So that is mapping each other. So RDF as a common, and then here is a tutorial is the ontology. So that's the content. So that is uh, wrapped in this uh, comment, uh, the, the tag. So that is the uh, zero 03. And on zero 04, uh, we are adding some uh, entity, the three, uh, the class. Uh, so not change any, uh, any more uh, for the more on this RDF uh, the part. But here, uh, ontologies uh, uh, create some uh, comments for us is uh, classes. We are adding some class. So those class is you remember is so we have a set is uh, we should have uh, using this uh, user defined uh, the name in our IRI. So these are the uh, comments line, uh, and here is uh, starting from all not ontology. Now is all class is RDFS uh, the about. So we use this about text. Uh, the name to store of uh, IRI or of your uh, the uh, this uh, class. So here is the uh, the class name is uh, uh, after this pound, uh, but the complete uh, the path is uh, here. Then we uh, within this zero four we create uh, four uh, three classes, uh, and then the RDF uh, this tag is uh, uh, complete here. So all the contents are still in this RDF, RDF tag, uh, but now is so we are creating some uh, level one, uh, the uh, this uh, tag called class. Then let's move to the zero five uh, for what we did change. Uh, so zero five, we actually adding the reasoner. So there's a uh, some uh, configuration installation, the plugin in Prodigy. Uh, but 0 0.5 uh, doesn't change uh, our model file. Uh, so 0 0.5, 0 0.4 is same. Uh, and 0 0.6, uh, uh, remember, we add uh, some uh, disjoint, uh, the, the relation or description. So that is coming to the additional paragraph called general axioms. Uh, and uh, within the description, we add our resource. Uh, resources means uh, here we use all disjoint classes. So it's uh, referred to here. Uh, and uh, we disjoint these uh, three each other. So uh, you add these uh, three here. So now is we have all of them uh, put in here. And you see are generated uh, by the all API. So this is the uh, API. Uh, you can read uh, more from that. So uh, whenever you keep adding class, uh, this uh, area will be adding. And when we add some description, you see here is uh, very uh, clear one-to-one uh, -one mapping to the left. Uh, now uh, let, let me do our interesting uh, the, the testing. Let's uh, come to our uh, the main the, uh, this uh, model file. Uh, so it's a stop on this exercise uh, 06. 
so now it's uh, if I do uh, one thing. So if I remove the pizza topping from the disjoint by the pizza. So let's see here. So I don't want pizza is uh, disjoint by uh, with another tool. So I can delete here is the remove. If I remove this, uh, all those are removed. Uh, but uh, let me uh, did one thing is uh, I keep uh, the pizza topping disjoint with uh, pizza base. So, so that is uh, we still have some content. So now uh, we sh I suspect uh, suppose is, uh, we should have uh, this uh, pizza line uh, the disappear. But we still have a pizza base, a pizza topping. They are disjoined each other. So let me save. So when I save that, is uh, you can see here, uh, is not changed to this uh, create our new paragraph. Is because new paragraph means all disjoint uh, among these uh, three. But now it's uh, we only disjoint uh, between the pizza topping and the pizza base. So here, uh, oh, is uh, uh, sorry when I did this, I, I actually is uh, when I select pizza, I select base. Uh, so and the pizza topping is uh, not here. So that means is uh, that is just our one to one relationship between pizza and the pizza base. So. Uh, the ontology file is actually adding one line within the pizza. So uh, when I choose this uh, pizza base, actually uh, they is also uh, already defined here. Uh, so uh, if I'm uh, keep adding pizza base is uh, also uh, let me add this uh, remove. Uh, let's see. So pizza base also destroy with uh, pizza topping. So here is a two, uh, but these are not uh, select uh, at the same time. So it's not impact uh, pizza. Pizza is only destroyed with pizza base, but the pizza base is uh, destroyed with another two, uh, and the pizza topping now uh, now is the uh, uh, destroyed with the pizza base. So let me uh, so, uh, suppose this uh, pizza base uh, pizza doesn't change. So this line is uh, still here. But the pizza base need to have at least a line, one line, with uh, describing the pizza topping. And the pizza base doesn't need uh, this uh, duplicate line. So it's, I suppose, only one new line uh, added inside the pizza base. I, I saved this uh, first, so that is a uh, uh, load. Uh, so let me do this uh, again. So like this, let me save. So here, that is the when I have uh, this kind of the uh, the destroy. So pizza destroying with pizza base, pizza base destroying with pizza topping, but uh, also pizza base is destroyed with the pizza. So that. That is uh, no need to uh, describe this because that's just a two relationship. Uh, but if I uh, remove this, remove this, and also uh, remove uh, all of them, then they should disappear. Then let's see, uh, like what we did is uh, when we add this, uh, we add through this uh, shift or control, then that create our uh, the destroyed all. So let me say save. So that is coming to here because we create our resource code is all disjointed classes. So when you change in the left, it's changing the right. So that is exactly the same the exercise what we did in the RK2. Uh, and then uh, the, the next is uh, let me examine if I change right, what's the impact in the left? Uh, so, for example, is uh, let's uh, let's see. Uh, I just wanted to see uh, pizza uh, is uh, disjoined with uh, pizza base, but not uh, the disjoined with uh, pizza topping. Let me delete that. Uh, so, 
uh, but through the earlier test, actually for this kind of the relationship, uh, is uh, can also be just uh, described in within this uh, pizza uh, the class. Uh, but let's just uh, hard code like this. When I save that, I suppose it's uh, here the pizza topping should uh, removed from the any destroying. Uh, so let me save here. When you click uh, back in the ontology, you uh, will get this uh, uh, the warning uh, the pop up saying is uh, ontology has changed outside the prodigy. Uh, so this kind of activity just for the testing purpose for this demo, uh, I uh, highly recommend you don't do this way uh, when you do the actual uh, the ontology modeling, because uh, we, if you do the change like me outside on this uh, coding directly, it, it's uh, very easy. It's, uh, there's uh, some format or syntax is uh, getting error, then your ontology file are damaged. Uh, but here is uh, we uh, have confidence is this will be okay. So uh, I will reload. When I reload, you see here, pizza topping uh, doesn't have any uh, the disjoint relationship with others, but we still have uh, there too uh, have the relationship or the topping uh, the, themselves. So let me uh, save uh, this. Uh, then. Uh, that, that's also uh, on the current state, uh, what I'm uh, waiting to uh, sharing with you about this uh, file structure. So uh, first, uh, let's go to uh, make this uh, restored. So when I save this, then it's, uh, let's restore to the exercise six uh, stage. Uh, so we can also control S, having this, and you use uh, control R, so this one. So you can uh, have this uh, reasoner active. Then you, you have, have a save. That is uh, uh, safety uh, the, uh, back to our original state. Uh, and uh, it is uh, our simple uh, demo. Uh, and the later on is uh, when we starting to add the property, uh, it's just uh, adding the uh, more detail uh, within the each uh, class and uh, making the class uh, adding some uh, the more paragraph. Uh, so uh, based on your uh, the preference, you can uh, the, uh, back here uh, uh, the sometimes uh, later because we have uh, every step with the uh, this snapshot model. You can compare uh, from your code editor. Uh, to understand gradually or step by step what the ontology file is uh, growing, uh, when we did which uh, uh, the step is impact on which portion of this uh, XML uh, the base the file. So uh, I hope this uh, give you some uh, fresh idea on this RDF uh, format, uh, the file structure. Uh, see you in the next exercise. Bye for now.